unique selling point really is the number of end users that we attract to this show. We have about a third, a third of the tenants comes from Saudi Arabia, from companies like Saudi Aramco, Sabic, Madden. Uh, the other third is from the UAE, uh, where we have companies like Emirates represented uh, and Emir. Um, and uh, we attract a significant portion of our tenants uh, from end users from the rest of the world as well. So it's really it's a it's a global event with a regional focus. For for us, it's a very good um, opportunity, location, and place to be to present new technologies like um, UAVs, drones, like um, non-lethal ammunition, like um, all kind of tracking systems where we can show them how specific um, solutions can fit into their um, into their product lines and into their facilities. This is our first year to attend ASIS in the Middle East. Um, we've heard about this uh, conference. Um, over the last year or two. Uh, this is the first opportunity we've had to be here and uh, it has been perfect. Uh, it's a great uh, opportunity to meet uh, senior uh, directors and above level folks from, uh, from companies and from governments here in the Middle East. Uh, and it's a good opportunity for a uh, small software company like ourselves to, uh, to be involved in to being introduced into this region. Exceptionally impressed with the, the quality of, of people that have, that have come around to, to talk to us so far during the show. It, it's been very, very encouraging. The focus of the clientele, it is uh, pretty high level. They're looking for solution providers who would fit into their own project portfolio. So it is very senior and it's end user driven. We are expanding into the international market from the U.S. and uh, we figured that Dubai is a good starting point for us, uh, and especially with one of the largest players being Saudi Aramco, which is a big sponsor of this show, uh, wanting to make some traction with them, so we've decided to invest in, in this show. It's been exciting. There's been some very inspiring, very innovative keynote speeches from the Vice President of Saudi Aramco and also the Minister of Economy here in the UAE. Um, it's insightful to see what the strategy that they're laying uh, aside for the region. In particular, they're encouraging strategic and smart investment, brings about security. I think they've got a very clear view on what the threat landscape is. Um, because we, we also exhibit at the large U.S. ACES conference that has you know, thousands and thousands of vendors. And this is a much more intimate setting where we can find our clients much easier, um, you don't have the, well it's good to have the chaos and the large crowds, we appreciate the smaller crowds and focus of the attendees here. As an ASUS member and as the ASUS community, the whole idea is about trying to make the world safer. Um, it's a very common goal and our software does just that. Uh, we thought it would be a good um, launch pad. Uh, for us to continue to show the software at the ASUS shows because you have lots of professionals, uh, decision makers coming in at the show and uh, we thought this would be a good way for us to uh, try get in on with the ASUS brand. I'm in security profession for past 17 years and uh, I have attended a number of ASUS events in, in US, in uh, China and this time I've come to Middle East. And I found it very, very educative every time we are learning. It's uh, a mix of the people that attend as well as um, the, the keynote speakers that they bring in. It makes sure that a lot of really interesting companies and people are all brought together um, for, for this event. And the fact that they've been here for five years now really shows that um, the event's been successful and people like to come back.